What's going on everybody back with another video and you might be wondering why I started the video in my car well that is because I am about to go to the gym early today I'm about to hit some fasted cardio um, and before I head to the gym I'm gonna take some of this Yohimbi and what this does is it's gonna help um, with fat loss it increases your energy a little bit and it's just like a really good thing to take fasted and then hit some cardio with so if you're cutting I definitely would recommend um, taking this or the um, the fat burner from gorilla mind so about to take one of these head to the gym and I got 30 minutes of cardio and I'm gonna I think I'm gonna ride the bike because I love riding the bike so in the gym on the bike you know my favorite type of cardio because I don't really like doing the treadmill or anything else so if I'm gonna do cardio which I don't really like to do cardio I'm gonna ride the bike because I like riding bikes for some reason so at uh, my gym right here we got a uh, like this little guy right here and I always keep it to level 10 which I just turned it up to show you but 30 minutes on level 10 and that's all my cardio I do. No, sometimes I'll do like an hour, but today I have work at 2.30 and it is 12.30 right now, so I still gotta go home and then eat breakfast afterwards, which is just gonna be some oats. But, you know, gotta get the cardio in to keep this weight going down. So, yeah, let's get into it. 30 minutes down, 200 calories. Let's go, cool. so. Whew tired because I was trying to hit 200 and I was at like 180 with like one minute left so 20 calories in one minute just got home about to make my breakfast for say even though it's like one um, so for breakfast I normally have a bowl of oatmeal a half cup of oats and then I put almond milk in there as well so that's about around a cup which the almond milk is only like 30 calories so I suggest getting it because it makes the oatmeal a little bit better and um, a little bit thicker as well especially like the old-fashioned oats um, so about to go cook oh and that's only um, 180 calories because the oatmeal is 150 and then the almond milk is 30 so a really low calorie breakfast and it is very filling and it begin you through the morning so that's what I basically have like every single morning um, so let's get it cooked so here's the oatmeal about to eat this um, I got some some water here as well and get ready for work because it is it's 126 I got work at 230 so about to eat this for probably real but that kind of you know take my time because I got a little bit but I do want to relax before I go to work so going to eat this up and then I got to change too because I got like I didn't think I was gonna sweat as much as I did, but I like my whole shirt got soaked. I'm not even wearing it right now. Got to work about an hour ago. Um, couldn't record because we had some customers, but I am about to eat my meal. So I wanted to cut you guys on, tell you guys what I'm eating. So I got right here some some chicken and some rice. I got some soy sauce, like a little bit of soy sauce, and then hot sauce on the chicken and I think I think this meal is around like 400 calories normally I put like a little bit more but I kind of just lowballed everything so 400 calories about to eat this real quick off camera cuz I gotta be working you know what I'm saying so like can you imagine that going to work and actually having to work but like on a real note like GNC probably is the most boring job you could ever get. I don't recommend it, especially like now. Like we've been super duper slow, so I just like I just sit around and do nothing and wait till someone comes in. If people ever do, which I mean we get customers, but it's like barely any. So it's like so boring because I hate doing nothing. Like if I'm gonna work, I'd rather do like a labor job. Like I did tree service for two years. And then I worked on pools and spas for another two years. So like, I'm just like used to labor jobs um, because I like to work, you know? If I'm gonna work, I wanna actually do something and not just sit around, so yeah. But those are all summer jobs because I can't work them every single day and the schedule is always normal. The, those jobs were like always in the morning and with school and stuff, I can't do it. But yeah, enough rambling, let's get to eating. 
Look at that. If you haven't watched Swiss's video, he just posted it, well, today, but by the time you see this, it'll probably be yesterday or the next day. So, make sure to go give that video a watch. I'll throw it in the description because it is a banger and he makes some sweet videos. Um, aspiring to get like a sweet video like that, but make sure to check that out. Just got home from work. It's like uh, close to 7.30. I'm just about to relax, probably grab another meal here in a minute um, before we head to the gym in like two hours. I just wanna relax, because working at GNC, I don't do anything, but it's so boring. It's like mentally draining and standing on my feet all day just hurts my feet. So, you know, I like to relax a little bit, unwind um, after work before I go to the gym. So that's what we gonna do, just relax, get a meal in here um, soon. Don't know what I'm having. So I was talking on the phone with my girlfriend just like a little bit ago and she was like figuring out what she wanted to eat and she said like sushi and then once she said sushi, I thought mm, Chinese would be so good because I haven't had Chinese in so long. And there's this place called Hot Sizzling Walk. It's in Toledo. Best Chinese food in the whole entire world. I've never had any Chinese better and their service is just so good. Like the ladies there are just super sweet and they've been working there literally for like since I've been born. Um, so like my family knows them a little bit and then I know them just from going there so much and uh, it's super, super good. So I ended up getting a General Tso's which I'm about to show you guys right here. Come on now, doesn't that look good? So I got the combo and this is just about to go dumb. Now, I am on a cut right now, but you might be thinking, how are you about to eat Chinese food on a cut? Well, let me tell you something real quick. To everyone that's listening, all right? So, when you're cutting, technically, you can eat whatever you want as long as you're in a deficit. And today, I've only had like 600 calories because I had breakfast and then I had that one meal. So I'm just gonna have this. This is like, I think like 12, I calculated the other day and I think it was like 1250 calories or, or something like that. So it's pretty heavy, but that will put me at just under, like, I think, I don't know, whatever it's gonna put me at. I'm just gonna track them here in a little bit to know for sure. But yeah, I was just really craving Chinese and I haven't ate much today, so. I went out and got me some Chinese. So there's that little tip for you guys. So don't feel afraid to, you know, go out to eat when you're cutting. Just make sure to stay, you know, in a deficit. So that is that. Well, let me let me just a little tip. I wouldn't suggest doing that if you are um, competing for a show because when you're doing that, you know, you really want to track like all your macros and make sure you know you're getting that to a T. I'm about to eat this, relax for a little bit, and then get ready for the gym. Just got to the gym, and for pre, I'm just going to take a scoop of the nitric because it is like 11 at night and, you know, I'm not trying to take no caffeine. So, about to go, uh, Take one scoop of this, and um, if you were interested in getting some of this, link is always in the description. Code Joseph saves you 10%. I know I say it a lot, but these are some of the best products you will ever have. So definitely check them out, and if you don't believe me, try them. And if they're not, you know, then I'll pay for it, okay? Delicious. I'm such a mess, I can't even ever take pre-workout without spilling some on me, you know? Just how the cookie crumbles. But, enough said, and let's destroy these legs.
just finished up the workout overall eh, it was all right um it was super duper late and i just kind of felt super weak like ever since i've been like cutting um again like i feel like my strength is just kind of dropping so it just kind of sucks because i know i can do more but since you know i'm losing weight it's getting harder and harder to do the numbers that i used to be doing and i know i should accept that but it's like i don't want to it's like why can't i just keep the strength but you know that's that's what comes with you know, losing weight so you know small price to pay but you know we still gotta grind still gotta get them legs humongous so i'm wrapping the video up here because it is 1 40 a.m you know and a brother got to get some rest so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please leave a like comment something it helps me tremendously subscribe if you are not and with that said i'll see you guys in the next one